Hey, hey, hey. Yes, it's Sunday night again. <sighs> Time to come in, focus your energy. Look at what's going on for this week ahead. And release out some energy from last week. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here. Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in and join me. Take a few moments. We're going to focus our energy. We're going to draw a few cards and look at what the energy of the week ahead has in store for all of us. So take a nice deep inhale. Come on in. Join me. Let me know you're out there. Let me know how your week's been. It was so intense last week. We had so much going on. Oh my gosh, last week it was Fat Tuesday, Ash Wednesday, Mardi Gras, Valentine's Day, Dark of the Moon, New Moon Eclipse, and this weekend, Chinese New Year. Yes, we had so much going on out there. Really, really intense energy. So let me know, how was it for you? What did you notice? What was the most interactive day that you had, right? What was it for you? I know for me, it was getting caught in that dark of the moon, right? Feeling a little bit like, oh my God, how am I ever going to get out of winter? <laughs> so I know I felt that. That was like on Wednesday. What about you? What did you notice? Were you into the Valentine's Day? Were you into Mardi Gras? Did you get some party beads? What was it for you? Just kind of post below as you come on in and let me know. I'm going to go ahead and share this. I'm going to share this in my group. If you're not in the Empowered Spirit group, come on over and join us. All right, we've got some challenges coming up. Help us move out winter. Yes, down here, down south. Gosh, I've been seeing lots of fun signs. Yes, fun signs of spring. Right here we are in the winter season. All right, here we go. I see it. Yes, I took some time, went up to the medicine wheel today. When I got there, it was nice and sunny. And oh, it was just beautiful walking around really enjoying it, being out there. I'm seeing the pink trees coming out. I'm seeing the daffodils coming out. So nice. I know that I'm excited for spring. One of the beautiful things about the South is that it does come early. Yay, because I think I heard up in the North there was a little, a little snow, a little Nor'easter or something. Oh my gosh, so if you're up there, Wow, it must be really hard, right? How do you get out of winter? That's what we're going to be working with. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking a little bit, too, about the year of the dog. Yes, the happy Chinese New Year. Had some Chinese food on Friday. I know several people were over there Saturday, and even this morning. I kind of bailed this morning. Went to the medicine wheel. Sitting in the direction of the north still. Sitting there and just really looking at the energy. Hey there. How are you, Alexandra? How are you? Yeah, so this Chinese New Year came in over the weekend. Year of the Earth Dog. All right, we're going to see lots of really shifting of energy. Last year we had that crow and rooster, right? We all know who that was. We all know how loud he roared and how much he crowed. But we're going to be lots of seeing lots of shifts this, this year coming up. We really are. Hey, Laurie. We're going to be seeing how was brunch. We're going to be seeing lots of shifts in that energy. That earth energy especially is going to be really important for all of us. Earth energy is about really, first and foremost, our own bodies. It's about Mother Earth. It's about grounding. Hey, A. Hey. It's about grounding our energies. Right? All of these things are going to be really important as we move through this year. Really coming back into ourselves. Course correct is a big term. It came up yesterday in my Reiki 2 class. Working with the symbols. Course correct. Definitely. And actually, Tina drew that card for me today on her live at 5. Oh my gosh, that was too funny. Perfect timing. And we're going to see that energy coming forward. Yay, Lori said we missed you, but had Singapore noodles. Yay, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, but the lake, oh, I meditated. Put my timer on for an hour, came back around another hour, and then it started to rain. But it was so great to be outside, so great to hear the birds, and to really think about what does the year of the dog mean? What does that do for us? So I know for me, just 
feeling my feet on the earth, hearing the birds, hearing the animals being outside in nature. Really, I could hear the wind. I'm like, what is the wind telling me? I really appreciated being out there. It was really important. Because you're the dog, we're gonna be talking about coming back around, taking back our power, really important. That element of earth is gonna help us to ground and do that. It's also got some of that energy about being loyal, right? Making those connections, building that community, really important, right? Especially that taking back our power. I think last year we felt like we've lost a little bit. What are we gonna do? But we're gonna find that we are coming back around. Compassion, compassion is gonna be a big word this year building loyalties, building that connections with people, really important. You're gonna see that's where the things are going to help you. That's where you're gonna be able to turn that around. Really that energy just moving around and around is gonna be really important. It's also gonna be not as loud, I don't think, as last year, but we are gonna have some of the swing energy where we're gonna feel like, oh, I'm getting this done, I'm really great, and then bang, frustrated. Why can't I do it fast enough? So we're gonna feel some of that back and forth energy going on as we move through this year of the dog but I think sometimes sometimes that's what we have to do to course correct. I think that's what we have to do. Sometimes we have to go, go a little further, pull a little back, go a little further, pull a little back. And actually that's what this week coming up is going to feel like, especially Monday and Tuesday. We're going to feel that energy and we're going to need to really concentrate and focus, which is what our meditation is going to focus on today, how we can really center and really hold that concentration. That's what we're going to see a little bit of as we move into this next week. All right, but we do have some good influences coming up for that. We really do. We have some good influences coming up to help us push forward, all right, to help us open up and take that step forward. Got some Mars energy coming up. I know for me, the way my Mars energy is aspected there, I, I need the boost. I need the push. So it's important that I work with that energy. And even if I feel like I'm falling back a little bit into back patterns or back habits, it's like, no, trust trust move forward and go forward all right really important and that's kind of with that year of the dog energy right away we start out feeling that at least i know i have and that energy of compassion and building a community really so much <laughs> it's so funny my my son just texted me okay little interruption there but he got a dog how perfect for year of the dogs they've been wanting one for so long and he just texted me how good his dog is it slept through the night all right so i'm a grandmother for a dog and the year of the dog i love it couldn't be better timing definitely couldn't be better timing so as i was saying we were talking about you know really Building compassion for each other, right? We, we talked about this in our leadership group last week, right? Compassion and sympathy and empathy. Really understanding and really opening up. And that's how we build a community. And actually on my Empowered Spirit show this week, we're going to be talking about that with the Fearless Home Festival. Yes, I have Annie Damsky and Emily Mayer on next, uh, coming up on Wednesday. The show drops on Wednesday. And they're going to be talking about this festival that they're building to help build this community, to help it extend beyond just being yoga. Annie owns um, Villager Yoga and Emily does a lot of programs over there in her Elemental Living and they really have put together an awesome package of teachers and community. It's really just a festival of healing arts, art and music and dance and, and energy and sound and yoga and writing, all these things for a whole weekend packed full of energy, really centered around having compassion for each other, really centering around, got a heart for that one, really centering around having the having the, even the knowledge that like we talked about on the show, like really knowing we have a spirit. We have a spirit that we can nurture and that we can work with and that we can move forward. Really, yoga is so much more. And so this festival is going to be about that this weekend. It's at Villager Yoga. I don't know what the tickets are left. I know they were beyond half full. I know that. So if you're interested, check it out. You can find it at thefearlessohm, I believe it is, .com, or check out the show on Wednesday. It'll be in the show notes as well. But that's the kind of energy we're going to be building this year, working together, drawing on the resources we have as a community, being loyal to one another, not this barking and fighting. Okay, maybe we'll get a little into barking, a little bit, but really the earth energy is really what comes forward. That's the main element. We also have a little bit of the... Um, fire and metal energy. So that is what will be a little bit of the bark. That's what's going to be actually, as I like to see it, transformation, transformation of the energy of where you are now, moving from the old, letting that go. We talked about that last week. We talked about it with Lori, letting that energy go. So transformation. So that element of the fire and the metal comes forward to help burn that, move that forward, transform, right? I know this from jewelry. You put a little fire to silver, 
beautiful happenings with the metal. One of the things that taught me, that really attracted me to making jewelry was working with those two elements and seeing like that transformation that occurs when we work with that. So on top of that is the earth that grounds us. So very important that we start to really sink into the energy, really open up to making these changes and really going with that flow of energy. Really important. Very important as we do that. So Monday... Monday and Tuesday, I think I mentioned we're going to be a little bit of that swing energy back and forth. It may be a little bit hard to do your work. So really the key word is concentration, really coming in and focusing your energy and being concentrated in what you do. Wednesday, Wednesday is actually um, all about a little bit of self-care. Take some time for you. Be a little dreamy. Go back to that winter energy, but start to pull that winter energy up and out. Take care of you. Back to the body energy, right? Spend some time nurturing yourself, meditating, even doing rituals for yourself, bath, that kind of thing. Really helpful for you to do that because then by Thursday and Friday, you can be a little bit more productive. And some of the energy coming forward is going to push you to stop procrastinating. How many of us are doing that in winter? Oh, I'll do it later. Oh, I'll do it later. Well, guess what? I was sitting in the medicine wheel today going, wow, I am really getting close to the spring coming in in the direction of the east. So yes, we've, met, we've passed that halfway mark. So it is time to start pulling yourself up, pulling yourself out. Look at your diet, start bringing in some of those extra greens and stuff so that you can start to bring that energy forward in a whole new way. Really important. We're going to feel more of that energy as we get towards Thursday, Friday and into the weekend. So that's what we have for the energy focus for the week. All right. So just feel how you are right now. Notice how your energy is. Let me know in the comments below, what have you been feeling? Did you have a hard time moving through the eclipse? What did you notice? Or were you able to use some of the information we told you about on the Empowered Spirit Show with Laurie? Were you able to do some rituals and really set those intentions for releasing? I know we did a burning bowl at the um, at the Reiki circle. It was really beautiful. I wanted to take pictures, but we get into like sacred space. So it's hard to bring the camera out, but it was so beautiful. The light and the candles and Everyone there just bringing that energy together and really opening up to letting go because that's what this moon was about, really setting the intention to let go. As we let go, we make room for more energy. So really important, definitely. All right, so let's just take a few moments and ground our energy. I want to do a little breath with you to help focus that concentration, all right, as we go through the week so that you don't feel like all over the place. And know that you can do this meditation as long as you want, all right? I'm up to about five and a half minutes with it. Or just do a few breaths. So what we're going to do, we're going to come in during vacation and all, but what we're going to do, hey, Heidi, thanks for joining us. We're going to take our hands coming in. We're going to put them right at the nose. You can cross the thumbs over. And what you want to do is hold the eyes one-tenth open. So that's the hard part. Most people are going to want to close them. But just remember to look at them. You'll be able to see the tips. That really stimulates the pituitary and opens up that third eye. And then you're going to take four short breaths in. And then you're going to exhale through the nose out. Take four short breaths in. And exhale out. So we're going to get into that breath. All right, and use that to help focus. And then really, I invite you to use this breath during the week when you feel all scattered. All right, so wherever you are, if you can for a moment, let's just do this, focusing our energy for the week. As I was looking at the dates, today is 02182018. Great day, great day to really come in and focus that energy. I love it, 02182018. All right, so wherever you are, take a nice deep inhale. Got a little white sage here. And exhale out. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale out. Let's just take a moment. Call in Divine Spirit, our Masters, our Teachers, the Archangels, and our own Spirit Guides. Call in. Call in direction for this week. Ask for focus. Ask for concentration. As you begin to move your energy out of winter, knowing that spring is coming. Take a nice deep inhale. Ground with the earth energies. Imagine the energy of a dog coming in and let that energy open up for you. Bring in the hands up, crossing the fingers here, right here, lowering them down and just opening the eyes or closing the eyes except for one-tenth. One-tenth open, we call it. And again, here we go with some breaths. So four short breaths in through the mouth. Exhale through the nose, and again, exhale, inhale, 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue on. Keep the eyes open. One tenth open, looking down at the fingers. Good. And then just feel yourself centering, feeling that balance coming in. Honoring the place you are in your life right now. Know that the seasons are about to change. Allow yourself to build that energy, that focus and concentration to begin to shift your life to that new season. Taking a nice deep inhale now. Send that breath down to the earth. Allow yourself to be focused. Feel the energy of the third eye. Just feel a white light opening out. Feel it opening out. Letting that be your focus and concentration for this week. Coming back. Nice. Excellent breath. Really good breath. Do it for as long as you can. Set the timer. Build your energy up. Excellent. All right, so we have some great cards. I'm gonna start out with the anchor card, which is really for all of us, and then we're gonna look at the ones you drew, the ones that you picked. So choose a number, one, two, three, if you haven't already. Working with the Wild Unknown, love this book, The Wild Unknown, Kim Kranz. Love it, love it, love it. Love this tarot deck, I think I called it a book. Love this tarot deck, really beautiful cards relating to the tarot. So the first card that we drew is a beautiful, very radiant card, the Ten of Cups. Excellent card. This card is all about radiating energy. It's about doing your thing, really being out there. Look at all the color, really radiating out. Very positive card. You're on a good place. You're on the right track. We have all this energy available to all of us as we move through this new season or we move out into the new season, the Chinese New Year, the shift of energy. So this is available to all of us. Ten of Cups, a really beautiful card. So my question is, are you radiating the energy? Are you opening up? Do you feel positive about your life? So the cards that we drew are the influences to help you find this energy for you. So if you picked one, we have an eight. We have an eight of wands. Look at this card, all right? Eight infinite possibilities. This card actually happens to, rec uh, to represent swift change. Look at that lightning bolt coming in. It's like time to make a shift change, trying to really do it fast and really go for it. I mean, a big direction, like bolt of energy. Do it, just do it, just do it. And that's going to help you feel that radiant energy, all right? Really important. This could also mean like a shift in your a shift like in travel, get up and go. It's like shift and big changes and swift. That's the key word right there. So what do you need to do to make that shift change? And maybe, <laughs> it sounded funny, and maybe, maybe it's about how you can get your energy up and out of winter and into spring. Maybe that's important for you right now. Maybe there's something you've been holding off on doing. Now's the time to step forward. Make that change. All right, look at that lightning rod coming in. It's a bolt of energy. All right, really important. I love this card. Eights are about infinite possibilities. We have that balance of infinite and potential. Really great card to make that change so that you can feel the happiness and the really the excitement and that radiant color coming out of you. All right, so no more procrastination. We talked about this. No more procrastination. Shift and change. Really do it. Um, Amy, the deck is called The Wild Unknown. I love this deck. Now, if you chose card number two, I know a lot of people chose this one. Father of Cups. This is a beautiful card, all right? Really beautiful card. This is the this is the one of the energy in the deck that really represents that healing arts energy, that deep spiritual energy, the ability to be creative and really use one's skills and be a master of that energy. I love when this card comes up. So for you, in order to find this energy here and radiate out, again, it's a cups, what is it you need to do? So the thing that comes up with this card also too and I think this is what we can look at for this right now is lots of times we get caught 
because we are so sensitive, because we have so many healing work that we're so much healing work that we're doing and being in the arts, we can have some vulnerabilities. We can have some deep insecurities within us. So when this card comes up, it reminds us not to get caught in those insecurities, to really be a master to that work that you're doing. And I also like to say when it shows up is is really kind of open up to those vulnerabilities. Just open them up. It's okay to be vulnerable. Talk about them. Bring them forward. That's how we shine light on them. And you know what? That's what makes you likable. When we can relate to what it is you're going through, I think it's important. So this card holds a lot of power in terms of the heart energy, the spiritual energy, the healing arts, but also too in, in, in vulnerabilities. Important to let those things come forward and feel that compassion. Here we go again, that compassion for yourself and your own heart and for others. That's a natural you with working with others is a natural when this card shows up and if you've chosen this card all right the more you can radiate that light out that's where you're going with this card all right now if you chose the third card this is another eight we drew two eights all right this card is interesting this is the eight of swords all right the eight of swords kind of reminds us like don't tie yourself up. Don't play victim to your circumstances, all right? It's almost like a cocoon there, but it's hanging, but you see the colors are there. So, like, don't let others take advantage of you. Don't let other people, like, you know, pull your shine in, right? Like, it's like nothing happens. There's no great feat in playing small, all right? So that's kind of what this card always reminds me of when it comes forward. So it's important that you own your energy and that you don't get caught in your own traps. Now, again, we remember this is swords, swords is of the mind. Don't get caught in your own mind. Don't get caught in all those traps that's going to hang you up so that you are stuck. That's what we don't want to do. And that's what this card reminds us. All right. We want to be radiant. We want to shine our light. So it's like open up that cocoon. Get out of the mind. Get out of the mind. Get out of the mind. Ground your energy. Really, that self-care, the grounding of the energy. Really, it's like I had to do today. I mean, two hours, I just had to take a chill and just sit and meditate and really release the stress in my nervous system. I love ascending. Praise star. I love it. And that's what I do. And that's what this will help you to do. Whatever your practice is, it can be meditating. It can be Reiki energy. It can be whatever it is for you. Crystal energy, running, yoga. But do something that gets you out of the mind and in the physical body. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck. And really, it's it's almost even like a self-sabotage when we get caught in all that for ourselves. No, we want to radiate out. We want to bring that radiance out. And look, it's there. All right? It's there for you. But just don't let others put you in that place. And don't let yourself put you in that place either. All right? Really important. All right? So just to review as we go through this week, shine your light. Feel the love and the compassion that this new energy is bringing forward. Be radiant in all that you do. And the way that you do it is it's time. It's time to make swift changes. This is the first card, and maybe you just want the whole reading, and that's fine too. It all makes sense to me. But swift changes. Get out of procrastination. Get out of being stuck. All right? It's like, yeah, maybe even sometimes this card represents like travel. Like get out of where you're living. Just go travel. Go do something different to make the shift change the swift changes that you need, all right? It's an eight, infinite possibilities. The second one is about the, the Father of Cups, and this is all about that energy of compassion and connecting and the healing arts, really creative energy, really lots of creative energy. And the only underlying thing about this is not getting caught in your own insecurities. Bring them to light. Talk about them. Bring up those vulnerabilities. That's what art is all about, right? So use it, use it in that way, not stuffing it down. And then that's why you'll begin to move towards this eight energy and radiate your colors out, all right? And then this card, too, reminds us, don't get caught in our mind. Don't get caught in that cocoon of energy. Don't let others take advantage of you. Get out of your mind. Get into your body. Shine your light so that you can have that radiant energy. All right, this is exactly, I think, a beautiful, beautiful look of energy for the week ahead, for the energy that we're talking about as we move into the year of the dog. Really important. Stay grounded. Stay focused. Make those changes. Get out of that procrastination. Get out of that past energy. And yes, you're going to feel a little bit like you go forward and frustrated. You're not going forward fast enough. So we go back and forth. But hey, that's how we learn. That is how we learn. Think about a baby that walks, falls down, get up, right? That's what we do. And we're going to feel a little bit of that energy. Sometimes as we come out of one energy, that rooster energy into the dog energy, right? We go back and forth a little bit to move it forward. But I love this card. Lightning bolt, new idea, strike it forward, go forward. All right, great cards for the week. We have some very interesting energy coming up. Let me know if that resonated with you. Let me know if you have any questions. 
All right, Laura, you got the one. Yep, that's a great energy to move forward, do something different for sure. All right, let me know if you want a card. We have a minute or two left. I got some thumbs up. Hey, Millie, how are you? Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong thing. <laughs> All right, guys, definitely some great energy coming forward. Focus and concentration. Try that meditation. It's really great. All right, it's, it's, I learned it in a Kundalini uh, Pranayama. Very important. Yes, work on that. Be aware of your energy. Be conscious of your choices. Take some time for you. Really important. Middle of the week. Take some time for you. All right, I've got some people asking for cards before we close down. All right, let's see. How about, all right, Amy, this is, yes, the wild unknown. Bring a question forward for yourself. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to let these be and draw something else. All right, another eight. All right, infinite potential is all around us. I love this. This is pentacles, Amy. So this is all about all about your skills, building that web of energy. Really, look at the intricate details. You've got this, right? You know this. So keep doing what you're doing. Pentacles is money. Keep building that up. I also like to think about, like, put out that web and attract the people that will want to come to you for your work, all right? Pentacles are all about our, our abundance in the world. Love it. And I love that we got another eight. All right, another eight of is that infinite potential. All right, Amy, let me know if that resonates with you. I got a thumbs up. All right, Alexandra, here's a card for you. Alejandra, I guess that's how you pronounce your name with a J. Alejandra. All right, so we got the card justice. All right, so this is time to find some balance in your life. All right, what is out of balance? Look how I got a fantastic there. All right, look at the black and the white cat. Look at that sword in between. All right, it's very important that you really figure out where you can bring some balance, all right? And we're going to be feeling the energy of back and forth, so all the more reason to focus and center your energy. I think a good thing is really grounding that energy for you, all right? Where are you overreacting? I know for me, I was getting like ahead of myself. A couple of weeks ago, I was getting a little bit too overreactive, and I had to pull back, and I was using my breath to help me. All right, I was using my breath to really kind of calm down, go the other way so I could come back into a fairness that I could find within my own self. So look for that in all aspects of your life as you move through this week and work with that energy. All right, let's see. Millie and Laurie. All right, Millie. Millie, how's your foot? I saw you dropped a plate on it. My goodness, I hope it's better. All right, Millie, you got the devil. Okay, this is about self-sabotage, all right? So this is maybe about being more careful and handling yourself. I don't know. I don't know what the circumstance was. But when the devil comes up, it does remind us to like, what are our addictions? What are we getting in our way? And many times I do like to look at it. And the way I like it with this deck really is, is that self-sabotage? Where can we get out of our way? All right. You don't want to burn up in the work that you do. All right. Look at this feet. Look at some of the patterns that you're doing. What are the imprints you're bringing in that are repetitive? All right, what are the addictions? We have so many addictions, right? We all have addictions. What are yours and what can you move out of the way? Because again, we want to come back to that energy of radiating light. All right, where is that for you? Let it go, let it go, let it go. All right, I got to thank you. All right, Miss Laurie, I love drawing for you, Miss Laurie. Let's see, Miss Laurie. Miss Laurie, you got the world. All right. I love this. All right. This world, the world is there for you. It's spinning, it's turning, it's supporting you in your endeavors and your endeavors, right? And the cosmic energy. I love it. I got a heart from her. All right, Laurie, just keep doing what you're doing. Know it's building. Know it's turning. Know the world is coming forward for you at this time. You're totally supported. Look at all the colors. Look at that. Just look at that wheel, right? Be grateful. Don't forget the gratitude. Keep doing what you're doing. And yeah, make some changes. I know you drew the one before and then just radiate your light. Radiate your light. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yay. I love that. All right. All right. I got a fantastic. All right, Thelma, I'll draw a card. Absolutely. All right. Makes sense. Thank you. All right. Let's see one more. Thelma, you wanted a card. All right, Thelma, here we go. Mother of Pentacles. All right. So this is one that's grounded, that's protected, that's caring. So where can this energy come in for you? All right. And I really want to bring it back to our own self-care. All right. Next week, we talked about that. Middle of the week, we're going to feel tired and restless. So really important that you really take time for you, ground your energy, be at one with the universe and those that love you. 
but really especially don't forget about you really important that earth energy is all around us now so where can you clean up your diet your body your life your world really important be a mother be nurturing 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 that compassion energy comes forward too definitely and the only underlying thing for this is making sure you're not taking more care of others than you're taking care of yourself all right i know we all have that in us to do that so really important as we work with it i was laughing at myself meg forcing myself to take a day off today it's like really really of course you could take a day off go out there and i'm so glad i did i feel so much better already i really do all right guys love it thanks Thank you guys for joining me. It's really going to be a really, it's going to be a good week, but we are going to start out a little bit of that shifting energy back and forth. So again, the best advice is to find that concentration. Do your breath work, whether it's the short O's the, or just breathing and meditation, whatever it is for you. But I do know that that breath has really been helping me to not only focus, but concentrate in the physical form. So as I focus, I'm getting stuff done and I really can appreciate that. Have a great week. Join us. Let's see what's going on. Wednesday, the Fearless Home, the Fearless Home Festival with Emily and Mary on the and Emily and Annie on the Empowered Spirit Show will drop. Be sure and listen to it. I'll talk a little bit more about the Year of the Dog. I've got also a challenge as we come out of the winter. I've got a challenge I'll be starting, so look for that. I'll announce it on the show. Let's see. That's next weekend. Then I'm going to be at a book signing, Momentum Conference. Very excited. It's a leadership conference down with the Momentum Leader Group. We have some really great keynotes coming in. I'm not a keynote. Not yet. Not yet. But Bonnie St. John, she was like the first African-American to win the Olympics. She has... Um, um, she has Anyway, her story is very amazing, and um, I can't think of the word I'm trying to find. And then also Carrie Lorenz. She is like a fighter, one of the first female Tomcat fighters. So we got some great keynotes for the conference. I'll be there with my book, Confessions of a Shower Topper, The Ultimate Guide to Living Your Purpose with EFT, doing some book signings and giving some things away. All right, guys, have a great week. Stay on your game. Really focus your energy. Get out there and align with Mother Earth, and then you will know what your path is. You'll find the confidence and the clarity and the focus that you need to empower your spirit. Thanks for joining me. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle if you're not there already. To your spirit. Namaste.